Talus is a very special partner to LT Technology Services. Together, we are working on some very interesting initiatives in the aerospace, the rail, and defense sectors. And today, I'm very pleased to have with me Emmanuel, who is the country head of Talus in India. Emmanuel, it's a pleasure having you here with us today. So, Emmanuel, uh, first question uh, What do you see? is the future in aerospace. What are some of the trends that will define aerospace in the next five or ten years? There are, there are two, there are two uh, domains where LNT and, uh, and TELES are working together. We're working together quite well in uh, air traffic management and in-flight entertainment uh, in the aerospace sector. Uh, first of all, uh, there is one word for, for this uh, aerospace sector. I think it's growth, market growth. It's clear that uh, uh, the, the sector is growing because, uh, because there is a lot of demand. People are, people are traveling. Uh, the middle class is rising in big, uh, big countries like China, like India. Uh, more and more people are able to use the planes and therefore the civil aerospace is clearly uh, enjoying a, a very good growth in terms of market. Uh, so that's one of the aspects. The second aspect is uh, technology. And here I, I would see two, two, two big trends. Uh, the first one is connectivity. Connectivity is, uh, is, uh, is, is, is becoming one of the must because more and more passengers, when they travel, they, they desire to be, uh, to be sitting like at home, to enjoy uh, internet connection, to enjoy video, to enjoy... Uh, uh, I mean, connection with uh, their people, their work, and so on. Uh, and, and, and the technology, technology is there, thanks to, thanks to throughput, thanks to uh, broadband connectivity, thanks to satellite communications. Uh, already we can see in the US that technology happening. And TELES, thanks to, uh, I mean, uh, its investment, is, a, is part of it, it's part of this venture. So connectivity is one word. The second one, I would say, is digitalization, uh, which means uh, data processing, big data processing. So when we say big data processing, of course, we, we, we mean also encryption, we need protection of those data, and we need also processing of the data in order to, to give them uh, clever things to, to say. Uh, and more and more in, that, in those technology, be it in IFE, be it a, in ATM, we'll see more and more uh, those big data processing, uh, digitalization uh, will become a key word and a key trend of those technologies as well. Great, that's very insightful. So getting a little more into this, what does India mean to Talos? What are some of the exciting opportunities that you find in India? Well, India, India for Thales is, a, is clearly a, a very important country. It's a stra strategic country. It's even designed, uh, defined uh, within Thales as one of the three most important countries in the world to develop itself. We have been in India as Thompson CSF since 1953, uh, soon after the independence, actually. I think uh, th Thompson CSF at the time was one of the first entrants into this uh, into this country after the independence. Since we have developed in uh, civil and in defense, in defense we have essentially developed by importing technology, importing staff, importing products, uh, as the market was demanding and uh, uh, with, a, with a certain market share. In the uh, in civil sector, we've been essentially uh, involved in transportation, urban transportation, metro business, but also railway transportation more and more. Uh, and today we, we are eager to grow this uh, transportation business. Uh, in defense, I mean, today one could uh, not uh, mention Thales Defense without uh, referring to the Rafale deal that was uh, signed between France and India last year. Thales is, of course, one of the big four uh, of this deal. Uh, so the, this deal is creating, of course, opportunities, but also obligations, offset obligations. And rather than uh, looking at those as uh, a constraint, we look, Thales is looking at that as, a, as an opportunity, as a lever, actually, to grow Thales in India, 
to increase our footprint, to import technology, and basically to, to make in India and to export from India. This is really our motto today of TELES in India, what we call in our jargon, going global India. So in line with this, uh, talk to us about the joint venture between l and Technology Services and TELUS. So what was the intent behind this joint venture and what are some of the engagements that this venture is working on? Well, I would say uh, l and and TELUS uh, is first of all the meeting of two, two big companies, two global companies, about the same size, uh, 15, 15 billion euro uh, each of them. Uh, high tech, of course, oriented towards high tech. Complementary in a, in a way, uh, uh, and but uh, speaking the same language. And clearly, uh, the purpose of that uh, uh, joint venture was really to take advantage of all those common features uh, in order to develop uh, a common competence center in software engineering. Today, this uh, competence center is much active. In civil, uh, in civil technologies, like, uh, as we say, uh, air traffic management, in flight entertainment, but also we could say avionics, maybe tomorrow ra railway signaling, who knows? Um, and maybe we could also take advantage of uh, the defense sector development in order to develop the, the joint venture tomorrow. It's clear that uh, in terms of uh, people, uh, this, uh, over the last four years, we, we have seen a tremendous increase because uh, if my figures are right, we duplicated uh, the number of people. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's, quite, it's quite interesting. So Emmanuel, you worked with so many service providers in India as well as overseas. So in your opinion, what are some of the key differentiators that the l and Technology Services uh, brings to the table? Well, you, first of all, you are big. Uh, you are big, uh, 10,000 people, so that's sizable for us. Uh, you have also a very deep uh, understanding of, uh, of the technology and of the capacity to simulate and to test. Uh, we have created commonly uh, labs in IFE, in ATM, which enable us to test uh, the development of those uh, uh, technologies here in India. And really, this is very handy for Thales because uh, we are quite sure that when it, is, it has been developed here, it's uh, very uh, easily integrated into our system all over the world. So that's one of the, the key aspects. So size, uh, easiness of uh, dialogue, uh, and also the same uh, appetite for growth. Uh, you are in India, we want to grow in India, and clearly there is uh, here a common... Uh, the common will, a common strategy. So, looking into the future, what are the areas of collaboration that you see between Talis and uh, LNT Technology Services? Like, where does LNT Technology Services fit in your uh, future product roadmap? Well, um, developing with us in the world, for sure, in the in the sectors, but also uh, if we can uh, use that complementarity, that competence center in order to enable Thales to grow where it is not that big. Uh, I, I take two examples, air traffic management, for example. I see in India a big, uh, a big demand uh, to, to, feel, to feel the growth of the airspace sector uh, in India. I think uh, India aerospace sector will be one of the fastest growing in the world uh, to, to, tomorrow. And, and Thales does not have a, a big market share in this sector here in India for historical reasons. Uh, however, we, have, uh, we are the world leader elsewhere. And I see uh, with that uh, competence that we have uh, built together here in India, uh, an excellent opportunity to, uh, to really use that competence in order to, to, to increase our market share for Thales here in India in air traffic management. So that's uh, one of the examples. The second is IFE, of course. Uh, maybe you know that uh, we, are, we are equipping Air India with in-flight entertainment. We have been equipping uh, them from day one. Uh, this, uh, as we were saying, this, uh, I mean, this uh, industry is, is moving, is changing. 
uh, a lot of uh, new things like uh, connectivity, as we said. And I see here also the, the use of this competence center in order to feel that growth and to feel this uh, dynamism uh, uh, with uh, big customers like Air India or Indigo tomorrow. Emmanuel, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs>